Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my December 2019 update video. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to my December 2019 update video for, you guessed it, December 2019. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I wanna talk about is some YouTube stuff. So as you guys know, I started my Andy Japandi channel a couple months back and it's been doing really well, I gotta say. Um, really been loving you guys' feedback, all the engagement, all that kind of stuff with the channel. And once I get myself out to Japan, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, I just can't wait for the even more growth for the channel to happen because I have a lot of plans for quality Japan content, gotta say. And I uh, can't wait for the channel to continue its, uh, its upward trend of growth. And uh, speaking of growth, even though this isn't really YouTube -y per se, um, I passed 1,000 followers on TikTok the other day. Really excited to be on that platform and to be doing some good stuff on there. Uh, right now, you know, the content's kind of, eh, you know, it's just kind of everyday life sort of dealios. But uh, once I get myself out to Japan, we're going to be putting up some more Japan-related content on there, uh, showing around different places in Tokyo and all that kind of fun stuff. Just kind of like a... A condensed version of what you'll see on Andy Japandi. So uh, be on the lookout. If you're not following me on TikTok, what are you doing? It's uh, at the.andy.san. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about as far as YouTube stuff goes. So that said, let's get on to some personal life stuff. And I got a fair bit to talk about this month because there's a whole heck of a lot going on this month, you guys. First up, I gotta say, this Saturday, by the time I release this video, it's gonna be my birthday day that will live in infamy. I'll be 34 years old and it's just crazy to think about it man. You know 34 years old. No longer in my early 30s but uh, I'll be squarely in my mid 30s. So it's a little, a little crazy to think about you know like even when I turned 30 back in 2015 um, I always like saw 30 as kind of like the beginning of old age I guess so it's just like oh man by the time I hit 30 I should have my life figured out right not the case and uh, I think all for the better all things considered uh, I probably won't do a whole lot cuz you know I'm old and boring but uh, you know I might go out for a nice dinner or something like that nothing too too fancy and as far as school stuff goes um, next week is going to be finals week, so I'm going to be a little busy as far as that goes, getting in uh, final exams, final projects, and just, you know, finishing out the semester, turning in any other homework that uh, that I can. And then uh, once next week's done, done for the semester. All I have left to do is focus on getting my ass back to Japan. Speaking of which, let's move on to that. As far as my, uh, my current status and getting myself back to Japan goes, um, I turned in the last of my visa paperwork and all that stuff uh, to the nearest Japanese consulate, which out here in North Carolina is in Atlanta, Georgia. So I just sent out all of uh, my information and stuff out to them. I'm expecting, you know, by the time this semester is over, I'll have a response back. When I sent out the, uh, the last of my visa paperwork, I also sent out the last piece of the old chill box, which was the case. I had sold everything else, motherboard, hard drives, CPU, RAM. Yeah, I definitely lost a lot of money on that because it's so fucking big and shit. And I had to send it all the way to freaking Washington State. Definitely an end of an era as far as that goes because, you know, like I said, I had the chill box since 2015. I built it when I was still living in Yokosuka, Japan. You know, I got all the parts from my uh, PC Depot, which was a computer store. Uh, literally right next door to my apartment. I literally just like got all the parts and like walked from PC Depot to my apartment and <laughs> put everything together. With that case, it was a real pain in the ass, but uh, made it work, right? Yeah, man, you know, I got the laptop going. Now, as far as like long-term solutions go, I'll probably end up getting another desktop at some point, but I'm looking more towards like small form factor. So I don't want to get a huge like mini fridge size desktop because, you know, I've been following like the subreddit that does uh, small form factor PCs and it's really interesting to see what you can put together in such a small amount of space but I'm getting ahead of myself that's gonna be 
several years down the line once I'm in a much more stable position. But for now, I'm pretty okay just editing on a laptop like I used to back in the day. Yeah, man, you know, I got a whole bunch of different ideas once I get out to Japan. I can't really share them all just yet because, you know, all these are contingent on me doing well in school, you know, because school is ultimately the number one priority. So it doesn't matter, you know, all the video ideas and all these other side hustles and things like that, you know, that shit really matters unless school is in a good spot. And uh, the way I've calculated everything, credit-wise, I should be able to get my associates in basically two semesters. Anything that I can't take in the summer, I'll be taking in the spring, get my paper, and then ideally I want to transfer over to Temple University to finish out my bachelor's. It's gonna be a whole lot going on, man. I just, I'm so, so over the moon. You guys have no idea of me getting myself back to Japan. <sighs> With that said, I gotta get going because I'm just sweating from the sun just beating on my face. So, with that said guys, this is the Andy Sun. Signing for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.